You want to max out Ultimate Team XP? This is the video for you. Do not forget to like, subscribe. As you can see here, I'm absolutely dominating in this game, and I'm actually doing one of the challenges. I'm up a lot of points. I'm sacking the quarterback over and over again because I need to get 20 sacks. So I'm going to show you exactly how to max out your XP as quickly as possible, as fast as possible, so that way you can get all the rewards and max out all of your players. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment any questions or concerns down below. I'm also putting out a video for an entire beginner's guide on what Ultimate Team is, how it works, and best ideas for you. The other day I put out a video so that way you guys can see the best game modes, the ways that you should tackle your team or attack your team, um, and, and pretty much set your team up from the very beginning if you are starting from square one. So let's dive on into it. So this obviously is ultimate team. So you're an ultimate team college football. And if it's kind of hard to find, but if you go over to live events and you hit L2 or left trigger, you can see here you have season one and you have orientation. So if you're very new to ultimate team, you've never done your orientation, you have what is called your orientation field pass. So if you hit triangle or Y, a field pass is going to pop up with rewards. You get 500 VC, you get a varsity pack, and then you have college football 101. And then there's all of these challenges here for you to do. Play solos, play. So this, your orientation is just purely the fastest way to do this is just by playing different game modes. Um, you got to complete 10 challenges, play one of these games. It's essentially just welcoming you to ultimate team, play the game, you're going to get these rewards. You don't have to worry about this. This is naturally going to be achieved. That's not the fastest way to play this one. But if you hit L2 and you go to season rewards, you can see here there is 50 levels to this, 51 levels actually to this season. I've gotten pretty much through everything. I'm only 2,000 shy of this actual one. And it's a, it's a big grind. It's a, it's a big grind for 151,000 XP you have to do. Um, and you get all of these rewards. Look at all the packs that you get, all the players that you get, all the VC that you get. Um, it's very important. Now, how do you get this? Like, how do you get XP? Because you're not just going to get XP by playing games. You only get XP by completing these challenges. So if you hit L1 and R1 in this section, you get the XP by completing these challenges. You don't just get XP for playing a game. You get XP for completing the challenges. So every day you get you can get 300 XP by doing one of the three challenges, which is normally play a game, uh, gain 250 yards, acquire a pack from the marketplace, which means buy a pack from the store. But you have all of these other challenges. Season one has all of these. Pass for 500 yards, pass for 1,500 yards, so on and so forth, win head-to-head -head games. So some of these actual XP challenges are going to be received by playing the game. And then some of these are not going to be. So you have to complete these challenges based off of how many people you have in your roster. The In case you missed me packs, if you don't have two of them in your roster, you can't complete that one. If in this one, if you don't have two of them, you can't complete this one. You have to put certain amounts of these players from these packs into these actual challenges. Now, in order to complete these challenges, the fastest way to do it is... You could play head-to-head, -head, you could play house rules. Those will work over time, but eventually it's not going to get you the rewards as quickly as possible. The fastest and quickest way to do it is playing solo seasons. I know it's boring, it's probably really repetitive, but it's super easy to do. And if you just go, not only is it super easy to do, but it's super rewarding. You could even do this on All American, and in the rewards of All American, right, you get 5,000 coins for five wins, and then you get a national championship. You're going to get a pack with at least a one player who's over an 80 overall or better. So you're going to get rewards. You're getting VC. You're getting a pack at the end of a national championship if you win the national championship, which you should, because you can do these challenges very easily. Um, but then on top of it, you can just play two minute really quick CPU games. It's just you versus the computer and you can just do all these challenges. If your challenges pass for a thousand yards, you can do 600, 700 yards just by running verticals every single time. I'm going to show you right here. I was doing a challenge where I had to get 20 sacks. Now you might not get 20 sacks playing against an actual user because the comp 
is pretty good out there. But you can go into freshman season, you can play against a really easy computer at freshman level, and you can get 20 sacks in a single game. You can throw for 700 yards in a single game like I'm doing here. Like, this is very simple. It's very easy. You can run the clock down. You're getting VC. You're getting packs. You're getting all of your challenges done. This is the fastest way that I was able to achieve getting to level 50. Um, and it's something that I didn't realize until I got halfway through the season. I was grinding it out in the head to head, but you don't always do those challenges early on. So the fastest way to do it is playing solo seasons. That is the tip for you guys. I hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys can do whatever you want, but the fastest way to do it, play solo seasons, get your team as good as possible, get free VC, get free packs, get your challenges fast. Peace. Catch you tomorrow for another video. Thank <music> you.